What is up people, it's your boy Dre Day So today, we're about to watch something called 1-4 Australia's First Drill Rappers I did watch a bit of it just to see what it was about And it's basically about how 1-4 got into this music thing where they grew up You know, a little documentary kind of thing So yeah, I mean, let's just get straight into it bruh It's pretty long so let's not waste time I probably will make two different parts to this but yeah. If you're from Western Sydney, you know that this was a war zone. Now he is a war zone. You know when you watch the music video, yeah? You think, yo, this looks crazy. Like, this thing looks crazy. But you know, it actually looks even more mad behind the scenes. Because you can hear all the noise, all the background noise. You can see everyone. So, yeah. Like, just look. Hey, hey, Sydney, you know that this was a war zone. Now he is a war zone. Retaliation is a must. I know my beat is so bust. First drug group, a genre often associated with Chicago. Rapping about nice violence in prison, their music videos are getting attention from all over the world. Straight drill sounds like that's getting viral on Twitter, right? That was he. This is fire. Who has the biggest buzz around them right now? Crazy. Undeniably one four. <laughs> hey, I don't really watch any of them reactors, like apart from Rag Talk TV. Like I fuck with Rag Talk TV. Bro, are you crying? What do you mean? I didn't want to be featured anyways. I don't care if they don't feature me in their videos, like, what? Oh. <laughs> For me, drill music is storytelling. Yeah, storytelling yeah. about um, your upbringing and what you've gone through and what you've witnessed, you know? If you know if who's in Sydney, everyone in Sydney can tell you that Mia has got a name for violence. Right now. <laughs> it was a lot more worse than it is now. It's still violent. Someone, yeah, in the comment section, let me know what's going on in these clips because I don't really know what's happening. It was a lot more worse than it is now. It's still violence here and there, you know, bros, stabbings, all the stuff we don't want to get into. We could like explain our stories through music. We could actually paint that picture. We could relate. We can't relate to shooting or something. We can relate to stabbing the pantrons, though. I love just fucking twisting. Man, Drew. We're gonna be shooting a clip tonight. Everyone's gonna be there. <laughs> We're gonna have boxes in that. Show you the hood out here. Everyone's gonna come out tonight. It's so crazy though, like. Australia looks so much different to the UK. It looks more like the US. You're growing up here, you gotta have a dirt bike, you know? Just in case they wanna have fun and get away from the pigs God and that. Damn. We'll have a couple bikes running the shoot as well. You see tonight. Like this. <laughs> we're, we're Australia's first and only drill group. <laughs> yeah. The what makes us a drill group. The only drill group. Yeah. Yeah. And through its home, you know? Yeah, it's a big place. It's the trenches. This is the area that needs the most support, you know? Yeah. It's, it's different to out near the beaches, you know? No one from the beaches comes around here. When I'm out and about and I'm out of the area, I do get homesick. We dress different out here, we talk different. Usually people like to wear shocks, TNs, maxis, trackies, you know? Okay. I'm messing with certain people in the Australian rap scene, but you know, they just hear stories and rap it. When other people, they're doing it, and then they rap it. At the end of the day, we're not, you know, rappers being gangsters. We've, we've done it and now we're rapping, you know. So we're gangsters being story. rappers, you'll say, okay. Say no more. Say, show, say something for the camera also. Say something for the camera. Yeah, I wonder if this Selly guy will make music when he comes out. Because that would be mad. Imagine all four of them, yeah, and then plus Selly. Yeah, it'll be crazy. Uh, what, tell them what used to happen in here, in this garage here. Oh. Where we all grew up, where, before, where we fought, you know, all the best rappers. Hey, Sully, what's up? Tell them where you're at right now. Fuck, you know, I'm a bit of a 
Yeah, hundred, bro. Shoot home. Right, He's in the four walls, you know. Just make your home. Hundred. Soon or road. Selling one four from the west in Sydney. Running with boys where he tested oh, risky. Okay. G dub and the rest be fishy. Contagious. Oh, okay, so he has made music already with one four. I've seen this song, but I haven't listened to it. Hey, that's mad. If Sally comes out and starts making music with them again. Hey. And hey, one four are doing him proud right now. Like they're they're blowing. They're blowing so. Said he's got something good to come back to. This man, I left him itchy. Well, we've learned through music and business and that, like touring is where you want to be and what you want to do. But what's been holding us back is like the boys' legals, you know? The boys are going, we've got, we got some boys that, that do rap and are at court at the moment. We've got boys getting pinch locked, my friend Cell, you know? He could have been out here rapping still, but you know, he just couldn't leave the streets and that. Yeah, it's also. All the boys, you know, all the boys in the system doing the hard. And what's he in for as well? Someone let me know what, what he's in for. <laughs> Fuck, lad, you should have seen how he was bleeding out. Covered in red, but I shipped him again because his man backed off when he needed help. Dripping blood from his body like he was done, to red cross. Pull out my shank and jet off. Pull out my shank and jet off. Okay, so it's kind of cold, yeah. The boy Selly, real close to a lot of these boys, man. This is Selly's, this Selly's one of Selly's favorite houses, the fucking bender at. I mean, all the boys we used to drink in here, we used to have fires and that, you know? I don't know what's going on now, no one's here anymore, but yeah. I remember I came here one night, I was with Paulie, and um, I was sitting at this house, and fucking Levy came out of nowhere, and I was like, what are you doing? Chopper everywhere. And he's like, oh, he pulled it out. I was like, cuz, I'm fucking hiding this. And I was like, what? You're a mad cunt. He full got pinched for that night, too. Little boy, too. Little white boy. He's like, up to his. Shorter, yeah. When you, when you don't know how to fight, you gotta, you know, you gotta use what's around you. <laughs> I put that away, man. My guy was ready to chef someone down during the video, he don't care. I'm telling you, that was our best friend for every a good fucking night. year and a half. Every man. night, bro. <laughs> Get a bird out every night. Over there, a very special spot. First time I ever got jumped by police. <laughs> Shanks and shoes. Shanks and what? I swear that's all we need when we go to the take that trip, aye. They used to throw their weight around, jump on us in the dark. There's no cameras out here, you know? And then when they used to find out our age and that, all of a sudden, you're free to go, you know? No charges laid or nothing, you know? And we used to be cheering, you know? Oh, yeah, we, we got away with it, but really, and they're just cleaning up their tracks and letting us go home and that, you know? I swear that's all we need. At the end of the day, they're trying to do their job, but they've done more than that. I remember yeah, one of JM's brothers, and um, they pinched him. And they gave him a big beard and his face was not, not normal, you know? And just chucked him out the truck. They're, they're, they're at my front door every day. I'm not even on bail, not, not, not on nothing anymore, but they still show up being menaces and that. So, got no love for them. If this video gets anywhere. Like you say, you do the stuff that you rap. So, hey, they're gonna be on that. They're gonna be on it. Like, realistically speaking, they hear that, they're like, okay, so you do this for real, yeah? Okay, well, we'll catch you in the act then. That's what they're thinking, isn't it? Hopefully, that's what they're trying to get out of with the music. So, I don't think they should be brought down while trying to get out of it. Like, that's kind of mad. No, no, nothing anymore, but they still show up being menaces and that. So, got no love for them. If this video gets anywhere, tell, tell whoever's up there to fix the reception out here. We've got no reception on our phones and that. You can never get through to anyone, I swear. I, know, I couldn't live. Yeah, that's why a lot of people don't talk to me, so. <laughs> Yeah. See how like every house that we walk past has got dogs in it? Madness. Time where it was used to be so hard back in the day. All of these boys breaking enters and all that. So nearly every second house has a dog to warn the owners and that. There's a lot of stray dogs around here, you know? We used to get chased, bro, and a lot of, the, a lot of, a lot of our boys, we got a lot of chubby boys, you know, that can't get away in that, you know? So when we used to hit the fences and that, and they couldn't hit the fences properly, we had to jump down and that, and like, you know? I know JM ain't hopping no that, fences you know? now. This guy's too swole to be hopping fences. Like, it takes him a minute now. I'm gonna stop it here. This is gonna be the first part. So yeah, if you wanna watch the second part, go to the next video. I'll probably leave it somewhere here. So yeah, you can hop onto the next part. So yeah, I'll see you there, guys.